Drupal Tears. Stand by. Three, two, one. Look at the little cluster bots. Do they have any chance Three. against Apollo? Apollo lost its crowd in the last series. That's why Dave brought his brother Alan, one of the best roboteers in the country. And Apollo trying to flip one of those tiny little cluster bots up into the air while Apocalypse, by and large, stays out of trouble. I don't know how you're supposed to fight those things. Knowles <laughs> loving it in the judges' booth. Apocalypse goes into the corner patrol zone, needs to get out of there. Wearing one of Mike's famous hats, Ian Watts controls the swarm. Is it weapon working? No. What? I am got no it. No axe. Are they too lightweight really to cause any damage? It's difficult to see how they can survive. They won't survive like that. And Apollo with a mighty flip. And Shaquille Lott is into play as well. And the swarm bees around the wasp. The honey pot belongs to Apollo and Apocalypse on the evidence thus far. And Apollo wants to take on Apocalypse and nearly got flipped up. Apocalypse with the grabbing arms. Apollo comes back and does the flipping damage there. Look at that huge amount of CO2 venting from Apollo. Such a powerful flipper. Look at the focus of Dave Young at the controls of Apollo. Apocalypse. Nearly into orbit, now on the flame pit. Sir Killalock pincers at the ready. Not where we want to be, not where we want to be. Ed Wallace needs to get Apocalypse out of there. Where are they going now? Apocalyptic visions lie ahead. Just stay alive. Apollo comes in on one of the little swarm buzzers. And I don't think it'll be buzzing for very long. Apollo with that. Huge 100 millimeter bore, full pressure ram with five tons of force. A giant against the minnows. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. it's out over the screen. Well done. It flew. It literally flew. Still out there fighting away. Ian Watts, young Sam is out there as well. We're actually on fire now. But look at the gaze once again. The apocalypse boys seem to be finished. Oh, it's on the bloody pit. <laughs> apocalypse is on the flame pit and certainly has been immobilized earlier, I would think, than the swarm minnows. A couple of them are still out there fighting, though, as long as two are okay. They're still alive. Down goes the dial of doom, down goes the pit. We've yet to see the fog of war brought into play, we will do, I'm sure. Chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me towards the pit. Who oh, did that? Me. Oh dear, oh dear. It was a great tactic. <laughs> Until then. Oh dear. All right. Apollo the most effective, we thought that would be the case. The cluster bot tactics keep apart, make them chase. As long as two of us are alive, we're still okay. Apocalypse, tossed, turned, tormented, tortured. Out that one went a long way out. Boom, boom, out of the room. Activate. Will that bar weapon of Apex be vulnerable to the new wedge at the front of traction? Ooh, a bit tentative here, you know. Apex thought about it, saw that wedge coming at them, and thought again, but now they come on the attack. Oh, well, they spun horribly out of control. What on earth happened there? <laughs> it's flying off completely. Oh, my goodness me, I've never seen it before. I don't even know what happened to their hugely powerful bar spinner. Ha <laughs> ha! That I have not seen before. Marina's in shards! Boy, that was scary. Really hit the judges! No, I don't I don't think they're being able to go Activate! 
immediately in to slam Apex and the 1200 millimeter bar spinner. And they're locked together in a dance of doom. Terahertz is on form. Terahertz with the control, the experience there of 18 years experience fighting in arenas. John Reed and Nick Lynch. Down goes the dial of doom. And we have the fog of war. Trinican and Turner to try to battle in the arena. It's a gamble to hit that doom dial, but the fog of war can give Roblox a moment to launch a sneak attack. A great additional hazard this series, I think. At the moment, it seems to me that Apex and Terahertz were leaving Vulture alone. Now the tactic has changed. Down comes that big blowing hammerhead of Terahertz. That acts can travel 180 degrees in half a second with the 1,200 newtons of force on the end. But the stuff is uh, ramming into a wall. They are stuck, which means that Terahertz can push across the arena floor. And he really knows what he's doing. John, a little bit of pressure on the team in the last series. Who was in control of the weaponry? <laughs> the rules, <laughs> oh, come on! Apex have come to play, simply to hold Vulture on the flame pit. They might be scorched themselves as Shunt comes in. The army's actually dead now. Have Sort's we lost drive. drive? Yeah, we lost drive on one side. They're quick Vulture, they can get across the arena floor at 16 miles an hour. Very aesthetically pleasing machine, they're all into art and design. Adam works at a 3D printing company, but at the moment, the design for them, I'm sure, will be simply staying alive. They're not moving. They're not moving. If they're immobilised for 10 seconds, they're out. They have to be able to move through their circumference. They're just about... Oh, I don't think they are now. It's not moving outside of a... It's no, not, no, it's, it's not. not. I think they are immobilised. Vulture. Vulture looks a little bit to me like a Robot Wars budgery car out there. Vulture, are you sure? Terahertz and Apex don't care. One shot. I think they've gone. This is good. Keep moving. Terahertz. The only machine out there for me really creating terror. Apex. Because of the new weaponry, largely untested. Oh, it's a fire animal. <laughs> Just as I was heading for shots. <laughs> I think the Danby boys, the Foxy veterans, and the team Foxic beforehand, Apex now stilled. And then there was one. Woohoo! Terror Hurts! Clear winner, Terror Hurts. Oh, wild! Don't get wild in there! Wow, Terror Hurts gone a little bit rampant here. Activate! Off we go, Thor first on the attack. Oh, look at the strange, it looks like a cardboard spinner there on top of traction. Chaos! Oh my god! Waiting in the corner, measuring everyone up. Eruption over the yellow and black stripes. Traction, I think. Ah, oh, I think they've lost the track. They're still a little nudge on the doom dial. Oh, goodness me. Well, there's still life in track. Oh, no! Expulsion has gone. Hey, Terahertz! Oh, Terahertz! No! Terahertz attacking traction. Apollo getting buffered in as well. All the meat and sandwich there between Sabretooth and Concussion teaming up well. <laughs> the fog of war. This is going to help me, isn't it? Fog out there as well, on top of everything else. Uh, Traction, yes, still in there. Ah, oh, they've got Traction finally out. So two have got. How can you enjoy that? Terahertz with all that experience there. John and Nick. It's a big flip from Apollo on Iron Horn. Doom Thrill again. Fog of War. I have no idea what's happening. They're just about hanging on, are they out there? Let's get rid of the fog, I can't see. Apollo. Oh, that's a great attack on Sabre too. Apollo looks strong in this then so far. Oh, but Eruption er er nearly got caught in with the house robot. This is a good attack. It's a oh, mighty, mighty slam there. There's Iron Ore 6 backing towards the Doom Dial. Down it goes again. Roadhouse Robots now. Taking on Iron Ore. This Big Nipper first time we've really seen Big Nipper in this amazing 10 robot. Rumble Concussion still in there. The Orange Machine as well. The 
And once again, I had all go for the tyre. Fog of war, where are your fog lights? Come out, I'm over there somewhere. Please help me. Robots in. The pitch has two. I fear there will be more. Sabre 2 still rumbling around. Big Nipper with a big pinch there as well. Graham Dawson, what a good robot here he is. It's very, very... Oh, who's that? One down. Iron Ore 6 in the pit. How many robots have we got out there now? Six, seven, I make it. Seven. Oh, that is six. Good question of God. Oh, oh. Oh, it's like a rubbish bin out there. The rubbish bin of Robot Wars dreams. Now, Sabre 2 with the drum on the front of Eruption's flipper. Ah, come on! A very passionate Gabriel at the controls of Sabre 2. A flip for Terahertz. Big machine to lift in the air. Terahertz are they in trouble? They need to surf right. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 there we go. John Reed needs to surf right. Terahertz, and he does so. Rob, we're good. They're still out there fighting. There's Terahertz. Oh, down comes the axe on top of Sabre 2. Through the murky mist of the chest of our make the house robot. Now I can see Eruption. Big taken off by Big Nipper. The Doom Dial goes down again. We have the dial. We have a house robot. We have Killerot coming out into the fray. He wants Eruption. For some reason, Killerot has a feud with Eruption. And now Apollo. In trouble as well. They've gone for Apollo. But they're okay, it would seem. Save the truth, they've gone. They're in the pit. Ah-ha. Uh -huh. under pressure. There is still enough power in the eruption flipper. Young Michael Oates in the controls. Terahertz picked up here. Oh, Bison Killamon. This late on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and this late on for Thor. Well, it's all come to an end. It's down the pit. And Killerot has to hurt. Yeah, throw this. Come on. Oh, this is painful. Oh, no. oh come on. For John Reed. No. No, 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 no. No. That's not right. That's not right. It isn't right, John Reed. It's brutal. But them's the rules, son. Get on with it. And I think it's a Killerot with gentle. Thank you. Oh, my goodness me, I never thought I'd see the day. St. Kilowatt's got all mushy. Three robots remaining. Apollo and Eruption, surely the favourites now together. Out there. Terahertz. Have they got any gas left? Terahertz shoving Eruption around. But they're very close to the arena wall. And they get a big flip. And I think that is... It for Terahertz. You almost made it. So, two robots left. We have Eruption on the attack. We have Apollo in orbit. Apollo in trouble. And Eruption senses it. And Eruption comes in again. And Eruption's going for the kill. And Eruption turns away. They know they've done it. <laughs> Ten robots started. I think we've got one winner. I think Eruption are the winner. Eruption are the winner. What a fight. Please. Bring me my cocoa and a bed. Look at the robot rubbish in the bin. And I feel just like them. I've had enough. I quit.